Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the sample standard deviation and variance as well as the population standard deviation and variance using Excel. Uh, this is a very simple process. If you know the formulas in Excel, you do not have to actually know the formulas, but it is very important that you know whether you are working with a sample or whether you are working with a population uh, because you will get a different answer. Um, the answer or the difference between the two is that in the sample variance, you're dividing by the sample size minus one, where in the population variance, you're dividing by the entire population. Okay, so it is possible that this is a population of, say, 10 students in a class, or it could be a sample of students that are taking something. So it doesn't have to be students. It could be any situation, but just know that you will get a different answer for the sample and the population. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to do this, to find the sample standard deviation, you would just start typing standard deviation and notice that it says standard deviation.p or standard deviation.s. So for this one, because it's the sample standard deviation, I would do the dot s. And if you double click it, it will tell you, okay, select your data. And then you just close your parentheses and it will give you the answer, okay? Um, the relationship between the variance and the standard deviation is the variance is the standard deviation squared where the, um, or you could think of it that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So basically all I would have to do is take the sample standard deviation and I would square that answer to get the variance. Okay. Um, moving into the population standard deviation, again, all you have to do is start typing the standard deviation dot, this time we're going to do dot P, and that would give me the population standard deviation. Again, select your data, hit enter, and it gives you the population standard deviation. The sample standard deviation is always going to be slightly larger to control for the variability between samples. Um, so we make it just a little bit larger just to kind of control for that variability that can happen between samples. Okay, and then the last one, the population variance, all you would have to do is take the population standard deviation and square it. And in, in order to find the caret key, it's above the six. So if you hit shift and six, it will give you the value. And that's how you do an exponent in Excel. So the population variance ends up being 6.84. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.